So today's job, I'm going to chop that up and fill that bit in. Fill this hole in here. Can you see? I need to fill that hole in there. And then I need to decide if I care about this bit. It's not part of the MOT, so... I don't know. At the same time, it's simple enough. And then, work my way onto this. Let's see how we go. Just need to like, peel that bit off now. So, it's all prepared, cleaned up ready. Just need to cut a template now and uh, start welding. So, it's the first bit, tack that on, start building off it. I always fail to point out that I do paint the back of it with some etch primer. Some of this, I mean, otherwise it'll just rust again. Right? I'm pretty off with that. How about that for a weld? Not bad for an old flux core MIG. Hey, not bad. Do that bit next. Well, my trousers are ruined now. What? She's all done alright. Had to fill a couple of holes in there, that's why it's had to be ground down, but overall, really fun. Yeah. So that's this bit cleared. I'd like to do that bit, but I think it's enough for today. I needed to finish that so that I can put the subframe back in and not like struggle trying to weld it, you know what I mean? So now that's cleared, I'm not really in a hurry for that, so. Oh, Bradley has come in, so it'd be nice to get that petrol tank back in. There is more welding over there. I don't know if you can see it. The, there's one more left. Well, I say one more. There's a, there's, it never ends. It's a Nissan. There you go. Done. Probably took me two, three hours. Nice one. Now it's raining. <laughs> So, next task, I've got to try and lift that on my arm onto there, onto these timbers, so it sits nicely. I'm going to push it under. And we're going to try and put it on all by ourselves. This should be interesting. Thankfully, all the fuel was on one side. So, after putting the petrol tank back, it's in, I managed to destroy the hanger, the plastic hanger. I, could I get that return pipe to click in? Just, I must have spent an hour there. Whoever invented it is a sadist and just wants, wants pure misery upon humanity. Because they don't work. So, as a result, I broke the actual pipe it's supposed to go on as a result i lost my rag and the whole thing fell down because the petrol will never stay level in it it's always constantly wanting to go to one side or the other so at some point all the weight went to one side and it was like a boat anchor there were no stopping it. it's ripped all the wires out of everything so basically i've absolutely f***ed that petrol tank this wouldn't have happened if within Five seconds of operating, doing this operation, I didn't absolutely obliterate my finger. It's not just a little one, it's a f bastard of a wound. I'm angry. I'm over it. I'm so over it.
those ones lined up, basically leveled it out. Should just jack up and go in there. So the rear subframe is reinstalled. Really enjoyable task that compared to the petrol tank. It's basically four bolts, isn't it? Bit of effort pushing it, but it's my driveway's fault, not my jack. Buzzing. Just gotta put everything back now. Gotta put, gotta put that bar back. And these two things, I need to buy some new bolts for them. Because them ones there, they got ground off. It's too low of a cost. And... I don't know what I want to do today. The weather's nice and it's going to be shit next week. So we're going to do something. It might be worth uh, mentioning that I have also cancelled the rear over fenders. They were taking too long. So I've cancelled them. And I have some spare budget. So I bought some new bolts for the rear subframe a new fuel sending unit for the thing i broke i'll show you when it comes should we do something let's go I've got dog dog helper today so looking at my list the rear strut bar that's that big long thing there that should be a dog so if you watched the previous episodes, you'll remember I tried to repair these. And if you look, they're absolutely caned. They're going to be okay for temporary use, but that rust is terminal. That is. So then, to put this bar back on, I've realised my first mistake was I've put this bolt back on here. And, uh,. This bar should be there first, you know what I mean? So, we're gonna have to support it and take them two bolts off. And then there's like two bolts in the middle here that it attaches to, so. Not major, but it wasn't a clean victory like I first thought. It's the same with the front as well. I should have put the kidney brackets on before the bolt. <laughs> Never mind. So, it's a bit redneck, but. That should support it enough now for me to just knock these two bolts out. God bless power tools. There we go, it's in. So I'll probably do something this out next back up and stuff. So it's on these brackets here, they need sticking back in, fastening down. I need to make some kind of bracket for this. So in a fashion I've done it, I've just tie wrapped it on. And you can see that. There we go. I've just tie wrapped it on. It's supported by this here. Where is it? It's supported by that anyway with these pipes. It's, it's fairly chunky and there's a big case that goes on there anyway. It'll catch it all, so I'm not really bothered, to be honest. I need some bigger tie wraps, but I'll buy some later. I might even get one of those circlips, you know, the metal ones that you could just tighten it. That's, that's the move, because I do need one anyway. So as you can see, now with the cover on, I bolted it up there. It basically, it sits on the bottom of this anyway, so one good circlip there, that'll be alright. I just think I need to now scrub this down, sand it up and put it on. Weather's not looking great today, so. I also need to figure out what bolts these are, buy some more. And somehow extract the old ones, should be interesting. Upon further inspection as well, I probably might need to make like a plate that comes across here, you know what I mean, just to protect that from like tie debris and stuff like that. 
easy enough task. Just bolt it onto there. So I need to figure out the nut and bolt situation. Right? Where do you buy bolts from? You know what I mean? For cars, not like the shit ones. I just find it's hard work getting them. They're expensive too. So, removed all the rust off it with a cookie wheel. Now I'm going to etch prime all that bare metal and then we'll spray it black. There you go, lovely and fresh. Get five minutes and we'll paint it black. Huh? you don't have to care about the dribbles. So, a new fuel sending unit. <laughs> I basically broke that bit off. I just need to find it now. By my estimation, it should be about there. Which is basically all this cow in it, isn't it? So, it's not a simple task, but it's going to be a damn sight easier than going from bottom. I also got bit to smithereens last time I worked on it by a spider. My legs are covered. I think I found a culprit. Cool I need to get that out as well, which probably means I need to take the seat out. So I'm trying to do the same thing on this side. <laughs> Get this set up. I'm just like seeing something. Where am I Can you see? It's a big fat puddle of water. I need to get this done. So I've got all the covers off and there is no way you're getting out that fuel tank from this direction. This whole support thing, it's all welded in. It should in theory be about there. In here, you know what I mean? So, and I definitely saw some peepholes when I put it back. So I'm gonna take the front seat out and see if we can get it from that side. Some bubble magic, eh? Oh, man. So I got the seat out on the other side and uh Jesus Christ. Right, first job is tidy up. I need to get this water out. Because I think what's happening is because I haven't got battery connected, the wind doesn't like the wind when you close it, you know what I mean? It does that little movement thing. So it's leaking. I need a car cover, I think. <laughs> So while that awesome girlfriend makes me a sandwich, I've discovered in this glove box here, this is how we access it. So looking at this, it's definitely behind that speaker, isn't it? This is good news and I got all the world in the room to work on there. Nice one. So we're in. 
this is what the subwoofer looks like a bow subwoofer mm, looks pretty cheap and nasty to me <laughs> so i can happily say we're in this is how you get to the petrol tank on oh, 350z should have done this from the beginning but you live in your land basically got to swap the fuel pump in there Got to fix the wires on that. I'm hoping I can see what color wires go away. Otherwise, I've got to learn electrics and diagnose which wires which. Well, not looking forward to it, but I'll learn something. I found a quid. Get in. This uh, fuck up only cost me seventy four pounds now. Yeah. So this is the problem I had. Well, you can see it. Right? Basically, I'd snapped that off of the. So it should be trying to push it on. Even though I had actually got it clicked on, I just didn't trust it after like 50 attempts. Such a tragic. Like it was okay, and I kept going <laughs> in my head. I was like, stop. I'm like, no. I want to make sure. And then I fucked it up. So. Do I have to take this pipe off? Oh no, there's another pipe connected to it. Let's bring that other way. So it's that way. So that's pointing that way. That pipe there is not connected. And. There is a pump in this one. So now, same again. We're in, we're in. Clips on, absolutely lovely. Never knew that. That's interesting. Spring mounted. Put it back together. So there we go. I've replaced my fuel pump. That clip there requires a lot of effort to push it on, but just hang in there. I sprayed the tiniest bit of WD on it just to assist it and just hold it, and eventually it'll just like click its center. Nightmare. But lesson learned. If you're going to drop a fuel tank, take everything off from the top side, go inside the car, strip it down, take it out. You, you don't do it the other way. I do have a spare fuel pump out there. I'm sure that will come in handy one day. Now we need to look under the passenger side and uh, inspect the wiring because I basically butchered that. So this is the situation that we've got. I gotta try and repin re that somehow or figure out what I need to repin it, you know what I mean? So, I also, it looks like I need to do, tackle a bit of rust there, which is no problem. And now it's raining. Lovely. So, we need to figure out what this connector is. I'm gonna see if I can push the pins out and just buy the pins, or I'm just gonna buy a new one of these. Like a weird back thing in it, but I'm sure I can figure it out. It's raining there anyway. Cup of tea and a bit of iPhone, you know what I mean? You'll suss it out. Yeah. So after three days of non-stop rain, I think we've had the tail end of that hurricane in America. I've got new parts. I've managed to find a new connector for that one because I ended up breaking it. We've got a new connector, I think I paid £7 for that. I've also got some washers and some M6 nuts for this. And you'll find a lot of the nuts on this car are this nut, so I can replace them all now. Extremely satisfying. I don't know whether you've ever just bought 10 quid of nuts, but I'm looking forward to swapping them. <laughs> So 
So then, to put this cover back on, I need to get that rusty bolt out there. So, a pair of mole grips, and just, uh, which way is it that way? Just give it some wiggle and eventually it'll go, put some WD on it. So there we go, we've got the cover back on. I've got three bolts in it, there's a couple in the bottom. I cannot get that one out there, so I'm thinking, can you just put a self-tapping drill bit straight through the middle of it? You know what I mean? Interesting. Let's have a go. So, it kind of worked. The nut was too hard in it. So, I just used a drill bit and then used a really wide thread pitch and it's grabbed into it. That's how you fix a rusted nut. <laughs> just drill another one straight in the middle. Sweet. I kind of slipped and fucked my paintwork up. But pew, I'll just spray it up. What can I say? This is so uncomfortable. But we're in. Shall I show you what we've got today? Look at me pine coin. Apparently like my mate spotted that. It's an old pine coin. You don't get them anymore. But in my little toolbox, we've got some wire strippers. These are brilliant, these are. Basically, stick your wire in like that. Do that. And it's off, and then you can do them too. Bang. And they're off, you know what I mean? There we go. <laughs> they're not sat level. That's what's going on for them. And then you do that. And you've got perfect wires. Love these things. Buy yourself a set of these. I've got myself some wire crimpers to repin the plug and we've got the plug and we've got somewhat of an idea so shall we get after it well this is fun i've got like a little table to work on it's not very comfy but this is what we've got two pins waterproof bongs and like a snap-on clip and once that clips on it ain't coming off so let's go and we are there. The cables are on equal length, but <laughs> I had a bit of an issue with the pins. It broke and then I had to redo it. It's safe to say I'm not a fan of wiring. It's so fiddly and I'm, I, my hands are so shaky. It's just like, nah, wiring's not my thing. <laughs> but we've done it. Shall we see if it clicks on? Oh yeah, done. Thank God. Put cover on, we're done. Right then, leak all you want there, car. 20 quid car cover. Fucking sad. Don't fit, but <laughs> it's covering the doors up. That's all I want. Just to make, need to make sure the doors don't leak. And because I'm waiting two weeks for these bolts, I can't move it. So basically sat waiting there. Sitting in that car in that position has absolutely obliterated my back. It's so stiff right now. I don't know I've done that. So that's enough for today. We should have it ready tomorrow. Bar the bolts are gonna take two weeks. I need to find something else to do because <laughs> So two weeks I've got to wait two weeks, so I might as well just wrap this episode up, hunt up. In the next episode, I don't think you can see it in my background, but there is four lengths of 40mm tube. We've got a pipe bender there that makes Ben's pipe. I've got a pipe notcher. I've got some steel plate there. If you can guess what I'm going to be making next, comment below. But basically, that's supposed to have been my next episode now for a month, but I've been chasing demons on this car for ages. It's it is what it is. I, I, I don't mind, you know what I mean? I, I, I'm just happy I'm keep being kept busy, you know what I mean? But I might as well wrap this episode up because sure, I could show you me putting some shocks back or an handbrake back kind of stuff, but it's boring, isn't it? You know what I mean? But this episode basically represents the amount of stuff you have to do to even get anywhere remotely near drifting. <laughs> so if you liked this episode, give us a thumbs up subscribe for the next one it's probably going to be two weeks before the next episode you know because i can't do anything i'm running out of tasks to do and other than like say painting stuff which is really dull to film there's no point is this so i might as well say thanks for watching and i'll see you in about two weeks or something like that yeah nice see you a bit people look after yourself be happy ta-ta